Penn Harris Madison School Corporation now has some new technology that they've installed on their buses to help locate them uh, pretty much at any given time. So uh, what we did today was conduct a scenario to try and see uh, if there's any things that need to be tweaked on that to make them more effective uh, or just to see how well they work in general. So I've notified uh, our security to head down to Grissom. People get, tend to get more frustrated, you know, why aren't you doing something, why are you waiting? Try and clog up a phone line if, you're on, if somebody's on the line with dispatch. In any type of large scale incident, you know, people may look at a school bus uh, situation as maybe not so large scale, but it really is. And a lot of people don't realize just how many entities are involved in handling a situation that from the emergency responders to the school corporations to, you know, hospitals and things like that. It's just a lot involved. It was uh, good information to receive today. I just, you know, I, I don't, it, you know, you, I don't think anybody ever really prepares for a situation like that, but it does give you and uh, opens your eyes to the seriousness of if something like that did happen, of how many lives are in your bus that, you know, even though that person that's taking you to hostage is the one that's in control, if there's something that you can do to delay the situation long enough where he doesn't take lives of any of the students on your bus to give that SWAT team time to get there uh, where you know they can take over the situation and they've got many different methods. Technology in general uh, is being used widely across law enforcement and it's really helping us out with our job and our mission and uh, this is just another example of that. I um, mean it helps us to pinpoint the location um, determine whether or not you know the the bus is mobile or stationary you know that type of thing um, kind of takes some of that lag that time lag out of it and helps us get real-time information when he took over the bus he got up and it was like like a movie scene I mean you know it was reality the way he talked the threat he had his gun and uh, you know making sure everybody uh, that nobody talked and nobody uh, got on their cell phone and he uh, was intimidating to people who would snicker or maybe say something under their breath he would point them out you know and uh, ask if you got something to say say it you know and, and just uh, it was real realistic if there's special needs and and that type of thing. And I'm expecting a call back for probably from the police department or online with else. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, just to at least get that ball rolling. And they can stay on the line with it. One of the most important things to take away from this exercise is the fact that the school corporation, uh, the people who work in the community, such as the first responders and that type of thing, we're always trying to find ways uh, to improve uh, what's going on in our community, whether it be uh, uh, being able to respond quicker to an emergency situation or even possibly head that off by installing this new technology.